Welcome everyone to this very short session today. I would like to show you how to import some text data as a shapefile and later on as a raster file. Therefore, what's the purpose behind? Normally, uh, there's a lot of um, intercompatibility ability between two different kind of software systems but often it um, the the um, support of shape files is not as good as you saw thought it would be so um, let's go to the to a very old standard version of data which is called the text file uh, normally each system has something like export to text file to CSV or uh, to comma separated values or something like an XLS data or whatever so very very simple data and the other purposes if you are using maybe something like like a gps tool and you don't have the software available you can create the the uh, the basis for your shape for, for yourself therefore i would like to show you how to do that and later on how to import that into ArcGIS and um, yeah, save it as a shapefile. Therefore, we will go with uh, some text editor like Notepad. Uh, I've prepared it here, so I will just start forwards. So first of all, we need in every table you will need you will need a header. This is and the header um, has to be like this. So you have some kind of coordinates, normally an x and a y value. So a latitude. Uh, a longitude and a latitude uh, and otherwise you need some information for that so you have a point what have you measured at that point what have you seen at that point some kind of information you would like to store in your shapefile so normally the shapefile has a geographic part so where is it or where it is located and there's uh, the informational part so what is stored there what are, what are the attributes at, of that point. So maybe we will have some kind of measurements of a pH underscore value. And please mark that uh, I'm using here the tabulator to separate each uh, column from each other. So we have a pH value and maybe some kind of um, pupil who has measured that value. So in the next row, row, I don't know. Oh, 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 yeah, something like that. And next, you will um, import your measured coordinates, something like that. So we will just stick with that. Um, these are three values I've. Uh, you can you can easily get by looking on your GPS or by making some measurements with your. Of course, it must be a very detailed map. But um, yeah, you can you can do that. And um, afterwards, you will come up with some kind of uh, X and Y values like this. You have a measured pH value. And in the next column, we will create some kind of pupils like Tom, Stephen, and Janet. So we will go along with that uh, with that data file, which is very simple, very easy to create, and very handy, of course. Uh, yeah, being handy depends on the size and the uh, number of measured objects, of course, but you, you, you will see your data very clearly in that case, and you, you, you know what you can change with that. So afterwards, if you have the shape file, you will, you will have six or seven different files in that shape file, or the shape file is, is built up from the six files and there are a lot of a lot of possibilities to change this and so the text file is very easy to understand very easy to read very clear in its build-up so we'll use that we will save it uh, in our Arcus tutorial here so these are my measurings something like that measurings dot text and We'll save it. Let's go back into ArcMap. So we are now here in ArcMap, and uh, this is a very pure new project. So there's no data available. We can see it here. There are no coordinates. There, are, there is no coordinate system at all. And um, this 
presentation now is very um, close connected to ArcGIS 10. So there's another functionality in Arc, ArcGIS 9.3. We'll use it now with Arc, ArcGIS 10 or ArcMap 10. So normally, if you're adding some data, you will just click Add Data. We will do it as well for our measurings.txt file. We will add the data and please mark, there's no new layer here in here, but you have a new source of information, which is our text file. So you can open that, or no, there's, these are the properties, so double clicking always open the properties, so you can open it and you will have your, your table x, y, ph value and pupil and it's very well separated. I don't know whether it will work with um, comma separated values as well. So if you're not sure, just um, replace the commas or the semicolons or tabulators in a text editor of your choice. So this is a table and we would like to present that table on our data view. So just click, make a right click, date, and click display x, y data. So now you're, you're confronted with the dialog because the, the program has to understand the measured x and y values. So therefore, you will need some kind of reference, which is a, which means what is the system behind the measured coordinates. In my case, it is a well-known UTM system. I love that system at all because it's it's um, there are no degree degree values you can you can measure with that very easily and it's easy to understand. So you have an X field, which is in our case, of course, the X coordinate and a Y field, which is the Y field here as well. And we don't have a height source in, in our data, so there's no Z field. Now we go along and there's a coordinate system of input coordinates. We have to choose that so you can easily selected which means you have to search for your uh, very uh, you have to search for your coordinate system but you, if you have already some kind of data like a raster layer or some other shape files uh, available in that region um, which uh, has the same coordinate system you can import your coordinate system from that so we will go along with the select <clears throat> so we are having or I have used the UTM system UTM is a projected coordinate system and it is presented over here. So there's UTM. The ellipsoid was WGS 1984. I'm using it now. And we are located on the northern hemisphere. And due to the fact that I've uh, measured some values maybe in Mongolia, um, I have to choose now the zone number 48 north. So this is the, this is the coordinate system. Just that, uh, that's it at all. Afterwards, just press OK. And there we go. Just once more, press OK. And now we're having here three points. And as you can see, oh, we will open the um, attribute table of that event layer. Please mark that down. It's just an event layer. It's not a shape file at the moment. And as you can see here, we have, um, we can identify that. Just press there identify which is measuring text events that is the name of the layer we have an x field a y field and our attributes ph value the pupil and the shape which means it is a point and well, it looks quite the same as a shape file, but it isn't. So if you would like, if you are now just closing the whole project, there's no shape file available because you haven't chosen a name which uh, which belongs to some kind of shape file. So these are now just an event layer. It will be um, it will be deleted if you deleted if you if you will just close the editor. So right click on it at one uh, once more, and then you go to data export data which means that you are making it uh, persistent on your data drive so we are now at Arcus tutorial and these are measurements and as you can see dot shp which means it is our shape file we would like to create you click press save and of course the same coordinate system as this layer source data and not the data frame because yeah it looks like the data frame has the same coordinate system but you have to you have to um be sure of that 
Let's keep that in mind. So let's stick with the, this layer source data. Just prick it, press OK, and then you are confronted with that little dialog. Do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Yeah, why not? And there's no much change at all in, in our view because you have these two points. Uh, we'll just change the representation so we, you have the green ones, which are our new ones, and they are at the same location as our text event. I will just remove the text event and open the attribute table and as you can see you still have your x and y table, pH value and also the purple. And there's a shape and an FHD well, FID um, index. Uh, let's go back maybe to the to the um, folder. Let's see what have changed. So we were starting with this measuring dot. Um, txt and this is all of the shape file. So there are seven different uh, elements of that. There's a shape file as well. There's an SHX, SBX, SBN, pro projection information uh, thing. So you can see in the measurements.prg G, J, yeah, P or J. Um, the projection information of the shape file. Um, you can go along with a D base file, which is a very old one. Um, you can open that with Microsoft Excel. I hope so. And there you have the old text information available. So we will move along, and there you have the shape lock data, which means it is locked by ArcMap, and you cannot use it furthermore in any other program. So um, yeah, meet again in a few seconds to uh, create some raster data.